Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. In today's video, we'd like to introduce you to a brand new paper product in our Transfer Paper Product line. It's a paper designed for transferring decorative designs onto hard substrates that we call Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. In this video, we're going to teach you how to identify this product from the other papers in our product line. Next, we'll tell you what types of hard surface products you can use with the Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 paper so that you can make your own custom decorative items with a standard color laser printer or color laser copier. After that, we'll distinguish this product from sublimation so that you'll have an educated understanding as to when and when not to use Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. So, let's start off by identifying Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 transfer paper. When it comes to Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1, Condi Systems will offer this paper in two media sizes, 8.5 by 11 inch, or what is known as letter size, and 11 by 17, also known as tabloid. Now when it comes to most transfer papers, most transfer papers have a backing sheet marking so that you can identify the print side from the backing sheet side. However, if you will notice when it comes to the hard surface one paper, there is no marking on the backing sheet. So you need to pay attention to when you pull the paper out of the pack. There will be a gloss side to the paper, which is the printed side, and a paper side, which is the backing sheet. So when it comes to your particular color laser printer or color laser copier, make sure you print to the gloss side of this paper. You might want to consult your owner's manual as to how to feed this paper through your particular printer or copier, although we would recommend feeding from the multi-purpose or bypass paper tray. Also, when you order this product, you are going to get a foam heat conductive pad that is used to help apply the images to your hard substrates. Make sure you do not discard this foam rubber pad. It can be reused and you should get a fresh foam rubber pad with every pack you order. Also, this product will come with a 14 page instruction booklet which will detail all the different types of substrates that you can use with our Laser Imprints Hard Surface One paper. If you do not receive instructions in your package, you can visit our website at www.condi.com and download the PDF version of these instructions. Now, let's walk over here and I'll show you some of the different substrates that can be used with this product. Laser Imprints Hard Surface One transfer paper is designed to work with both coated and uncoated hard substrates, which means not only can you use this paper on most items that are coated for sublimation, but you can also use this paper on uncoated items. In other words, items that you can find out in general public. As far as the paper is concerned, the paper is a self-weeding paper. Even though it is a single sheet transfer paper, it's only designed to transfer the toner and not the excess emulsion, which works great if you're working with designs that aren't full bleed. On the table here, I have just a small sampling of some of the products that can be used with Laser Imprints Hard Surface One, such as crystal and acrylic pieces, glass tiles, as well as glass mirrors, both coated and uncoated metal, coated and uncoated ceramic tiles, mugs, steins, and aluminum and stainless steel water bottles, Plastic pieces, such as this Lexan here, and fiberglass reinforced plastic. And wood products, such as this hardboard product from Unisub. As I said, this just represents a small sampling of the types of products that can be used with Laser Imprints Hard Surface One. And over the course of the next few videos on this product, we're going to take each of these products and go step by step to show you exactly how to use Laser Imprints Hard Surface One to adhere images onto here. But first, you need to know how to run it through your color laser printer or color laser copier. So let's go over to our computer and I'll show you how. Now that we're here at the computer, let me show you how to run Laser Imprints Hard Surface One transfer paper through your color laser printer or color laser copier. As you can see on the display here, I have a graphic that I'm ready to print. Since I'm operating out of Corel Draw X5, what I like to do is go to File, 
in Print Preview to set up my preview screen. At this point, I can go ahead and access my print options to select my color laser printer. I will be operating with our Laser in Prints Go Uno. So here, I'm going to go into Preferences. When it comes to running this paper, you want to make sure that you run this paper from what's called your multi-purpose or bypass paper tray. It will give you the best result. Next thing I want to do is I want to go into the options of the driver by clicking the advance button here. When it comes to setting your paper size, since we're running a letter size sheet, the Laser Imprints Go Uno is designed to run long edge first. But what I like to do with this paper is go to my Postscript custom page size and set it up for an 8.5 by 11 page, but to run short edge. And I'll go ahead and save that setting. Next, what I'll do is the Laser Imprints Go Uno has a built in media check. I'll disable that for training purposes. Now, when it comes to the media type, this is the, the important setting to remember when running laser imprints hard surface paper. On most color laser printers or color laser copiers, you're going to want to run this paper in your labels mode. As far as the laser imprints go UNO, this has a labels 1 and labels 2 mode. So if you use an Oki data based engine, you might want to experiment to find out which one is the best for your printer. But when I found for my testing on the Laser Imprints Go Uno, I found that this image clip setting gives me the best result. The next thing I want to do is go into my job options and increase my resolution. On this particular printer, the Laser Imprints Go Uno defaults at 600 by 600 dots per inch. I want to increase that resolution to 600 by 1200 just so I have a little bit more toner lay down so I make sure I get a good image on my hard substrates. But well, once I've made my changes, I'll apply them. And the other important thing to remember is when you're using Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1, for most items you want to mirror or reverse your print. The only time you do not want to mirror or reverse is if you're going on to a piece such as a crystal a pane of glass or an acrylic where you're putting the design on the back but it's meant to be seen from the front. When it comes to those types of substrates you want to print right side up. But for all other hot substrates you want to mirror or reverse your print. Once you're ready, go ahead and send the print to your printer. Here's our printed sheet of Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 that came out of our Laser Imprints Go Uno printer. To make sure I have a proper print I want to perform my tissue test which is taking a tissue sheet, gently tracing it over the print to make sure that no toner comes off on the tissue. This means we have proper toner bonding to the page. If you have proper toner bonding to your page, then you have successfully run Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 paper through your color laser printer or color laser copier. Now let me take a moment to explain Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 paper and how it relates to production. Now many of you who are Condi clients are well aware that we are a big sublimation distributor. Sublimation will create a durable item. When it comes to Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1, we are basically bonding an image to the surface of the item. The image is not embedding into the item like sublimation does. So with Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 paper, you can make a decorative item, but not a durable item. As an example, let's take a coffee mug here that is coated. We could take Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 paper and put an image to this coffee mug, but the image would be resting on the surface of the mug, so what we would have is a hand wash only mug, not the type of mug that you could put through a washing machine. With sublimation, the inks from sublimation will actually embed into the mug so that you could take this mug and actually put it through a washing machine or dishwasher. So what you got to remember when it comes to laser imprints hard surfaces, it's going to make a decorative item, not a durable item. If you're making an item that is simply for display, laser imprints hard surface one will work just fine. But if it's an item that is going to be handled and it needs to be durable, you might want to look into sublimation printing process for those hard substrates.
So let's take a moment to quickly review the points of Laser Imprint's Hard Surface One transfer paper. This transfer paper is designed to run through oil-based and non-oil color laser printers and color laser copiers. Although it is a single sheet transfer paper, it is in fact self-weeding, which means it only transfers the image and not the excess emulsion. As far as the substrates that can be used with Laser Imprint's Hard Surface One, it can be applied to both coated and uncoated hard substrates, as long as it will survive in the heat press. But remember, Laser Imprint's Hard Surface One is going to make a decorative item, not a durable item. So bear that in mind whenever you're considering this for your production demands. If you have any questions regarding Laser Imprint's Hard Surface One, don't hesitate to contact one of our sales managers here at Condi. You can reach them at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. And be sure to tune in to the second part of our Hard Surface One Transfer Paper video series where we'll show you how to apply this paper to acrylic, crystal, and glass. Until then, my name is Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager at Condi Systems. My time is up and I thank you for yours.